Hey family, so here's just a little message before the message. Um, I was on Blab yesterday and I've been editing today. So that video is gonna be followed by this. If you look in the description bar, it will have the titles of everything that we're talking about. So if you don't wanna watch like the whole hour Blab, you can just skip to the different segments. Um, I just wanna say thank you to everybody who came through and participated in the Blab. Thank you to even the people who were in the chat room. I spy with their little eyes. Yes, I saw you too that unsubscribe. Yes, the streets be talking. <laughs> oh God, I guess people just don't know the streets they talking, okay? So anyway, um, <laughs> so, um, but what I wanted to tell y'all, because see, I'm on, a, I'm, I told you I'm doing new things and I got a lot of positive stuff to talk to y'all about. Um, but we are going to be talking about the making of a murder. Okay, and we had heard about that from Thick Chick Vlogs, and I'm going to hook y'all up with the link, okay? So in case you don't have Netflix, y'all can go ahead and watch season one, um, well, actually episode one. It's 10 episodes, so we're going to be talking about episode one live tomorrow on Blab. Like I said, if you don't have Netflix, you don't have to watch, worry about it, you don't have to go ahead and buy the DVD, check the description box, and I'm going to go ahead and hook you up with the link to watch it. I encourage you to watch it now because you know how it is when shit get hot and people start flagging shit and the video get taken down, okay? So, you know, I'm giving y'all the free free, okay? Now, um, I will be having, um, hopefully they all will be able to join me, which will be um, Random Nikki, YouTube Stephanie, Starletta Jenkins, and it'll be myself. We will probably also be able to rotate. So if you guys want to come in and add anything about the uh, movie, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, and we kind of did that yesterday. And I thought that was just so great that people were willing to give up their seat for others that came um, to come in. And I'm also going to put all the links to everyone who came. You might not see them in the video, everyone that came in, because um, I actually didn't know that you had to press record. But anyway, um, all the people who came through and a special shout out to much love from KY. Um, she is such a positive person. I mean, she really touched my spirit, but a lot of things that she said made me look at things in a different perspective. And um, so I just want to thank her um, so much for that. And you see a lot of YouTubers with a lot of subscribers who will not ever take the time to talk to somebody like me with, you know, a couple subscribers. So I thought that was just, I mean, it just shows me how humble she is and it really speaks to her character. So shout out to her and I will put the links to all the YouTubers that uh, participated and will be on the Blab for tomorrow. If you do not have Blab, it's very easy. If you have Twitter, you can just sign up through there and you don't have to do anything extra. Um, and it's live. You'll see us, you know, live in person. So that's going to be it. And I hope you all have a blessed night and I will see you all tomorrow. A fee for me to review the products. I'm always going to give my honest opinion. So when they send me something, they're going to send me something so that I can give away for free. And then they're going to pay me. If they want a commercial, they're going to pay me for that. If they want a review, they're going to pay me for that. Right. So. My goal is to, I monetize my talent. So um, so one of these big companies hit me up. They have a budget. They have a marketing budget. <clears throat> they already have that. So it's the same thing if they went to go pay for advertisement on TV or put something on a billboard where they can use someone like me who knows their craft. I'm a licensed educator. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. So if you're coming to me, right, you come you at me come correct. Correct. because here is my world. Yeah, I've been doing here for 22 years. So if you're coming at me, you're coming with the beauty, the brand and everything. But at the same time, I'm going to give you the education behind it, why I do what I do so I can make sure I break it down so that people understand what they're investing their money in. Right. So, <clears throat> it's more than just showing something. Uh-uh. It's, it's, it's more than that. So I, I use this um, to capitalize off of, I mean, basically everything that I do. And then when my channel was gone, I started back my product line and I sell products. I don't even do hair like that. You know, like I'll teach classes. So what kind of products do you sell? Like I sell 100% all natural products. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Hair gotcha. and body for people who suffer from eczema, psoriasis, dry skin, um, cerebral dermatitis, um, people who have lupus, cancer survivors. So basically what I do in a year, like last year, I gave away 1,700 um, um, 
bottles away for free. So I allot a certain amount that I'm giving away to homeless shelters, battered women's shelters, um, to the veterans, to the VA, because I'm a veteran also. So I'm doing a lot in my community. I go and I do give, I give free makeovers. Um, I give away clothes. I give away all kinds of things because um, I fell on my face. I almost lost everything, you know? So right. uh, I created my products for my children. My son had eczema real bad. My daughter had cradle cap and her hair wouldn't grow. So what we don't understand is that the things that we put on our skin takes 33 seconds to hit our bloodstream. And we're not realizing that you're wondering why we have skin cancer. We're wondering why all these cancers are coming up, popping up, all the processed foods that we are eating, everything that we are ingesting, the pesticides that they put on our food, they're killing us. And people don't care about that. But you complain about something that you put on your skin, but you won't even sit here and even read the ingredients and the things that you put in your mouth on a daily basis. That's, That's the problem. So we don't want to read and you wonder why we don't know things because you don't want to take the time out to educate yourself. And that's why they put everything in books, hiding it in books because they know most of us, majority doesn't want to read. That is so true. Cool. Cool. Watch, That's how people get in contact and shit. They don't cool. know what's going on. You know, and then, you know, um, people get, you know, people have gotten mad because I'm not going to lie to kick it. I'm not going to do it. I just, I want people to be informed because we are losing our children. You have young children who are dying of cancer. How is that happening? You know why? Because when the mother was pregnant, she was eating most of all this crazy processed food. And now it's transferring to your children and you can't figure it out. That's why you buy Johnson and Johnson that has SLS, sodium lauryl sulfate in it. <clears throat> is the degrees that is used to clean diesel engines. You're putting that on your children. You're putting that on yourself. So all little bit high, those doses of it after a while, after a while, you think about it, it accumulates. And what happens, then you wonder, why am I sick? I don't know. But it's the accumulation of all the things that we're doing on a daily basis that we're not even protecting our bodies when we come out the shower. You're supposed to literally rinse yourself off with cool water so that you can close your pores, so that you are not being exposed to all these toxins and craziness outside in the world. I'll that tell you some real shit body. that a lot of people don't understand. When I told you I had moved to Jamaica for a while, so all the years I was in Jamaica living, I never once spent a day in the hospital. Never once was sick. The minute I got on the plane and brought my ass back to the United States of America, I have not stopped going to doctors and hospitals since then. So it's obviously something in the food or the air or fucking something that they're doing because I'm never sick when I'm there. I'm always sick when I'm here. So are you burning stage? No, that's a uh, Palo Santo. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. I want to know. I'm about to say because I mean, if it's tell us about it, Ms. tell us about it, Mr. Jones. We listening. <laughs> it's a, it's about cleansing. I've been out. I was out with some folks and went to Dave and Buster's. I gotta get all these other people. Oh, Lord no, have mercy! <laughs> Can I give you my address? Can you give me a little say it. of that? Because I need you better some say it, honey. energy the fuck away from me. Yes. Yeah, Amen. Lee, right. send me a I do, I do have my save too that I, I keep, but no, ain't nobody. Hey, you put just a seed in an envelope and send it to me, okay? Because they feel like, <laughs> like this girl is crazy. They be laughing. I said, Look, I said, let me tell you something. I will purify my home, I don't even let people in my house. I'm very funny because. People don't realize that people leave their spirits in your house. Yes. If you have small children in the house, that can transfer transfer energy into you, transfer energy into your children, transfer energy into things in the home. And you carry that and you wonder why you can't sleep. That's why I said you need to, you need to cleanse. You need to purify your body. You need to purify your mind and your soul, the things that we do. And people don't think like that. Uh, uh, no, I, 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 let me tell you, believe me. I know, and I believe it. I, I believe in it. That's why a lot, I mean, I might cuss and I might do all that, but I do a lot of meditation and a lot of praying. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you that I can feed off of people's energy, I know the type of people that I should have around me and who I shouldn't have around me because I can, I feel it. You know what I'm saying? And you always have to keep your eyes open and, and be aware of your surroundings and always cleanse yourself because you don't know. A lot of people will cheer you on, but they don't really want good for you. They don't. No. So I'm need him to send me some of them herbs in the mail or something because yes, I need to light something in each one corner of this house or something. Yeah. People tell me. No, this, this Palo Santo. Where you get that from? This one was given to me by a friend. I bought some more. You can get it from uh, Whole Foods or something? That Earthbound. Earth 
trading company. Oh, yeah, we we'll have to go to moms because we don't have too much out here. We have moms though; they might have it. And so this will burn. I've had this for a while since wow. November. And it was only about that much longer, wow. and I burned it almost every day. Y'all think I'm bullshitting? Mm -hmm. Y'all watch this. See if y'all don't see me on YouTube tomorrow burning shit. Just watch me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hear me, That's Pam? Cool. You gonna see me on here burning? You gonna be see smoke going everywhere? Hey, boo, That's you back? People even got. I've had people got offended and felt some type of way because I didn't want to shake their hand or hug them, and I said no, because I said your energy doesn't sit right with me, and if your spirit doesn't sit right with me, I won't even let you touch me. Let me tell you something. People that think I'm crazy, and I say this, but I was with somebody. Y'all gonna be like, damn, but you a freak. You've been with everybody. But, um, you know, just been through shit in my life or whatever. But, you know, whatever. But anyway, I was with this guy or whatever. This motherfucker put, tried to put voodoo on me. This nigga had leaves and shit laying on the ground. He was taking a bath with some yellow shit in a bottle. And it had, like, a scripture that he had to keep reading. And he couldn't take a bath for three days. He could only, like, wash certain areas because this lady had did this. You know, some people believe in that shit. But that's why you all you don't know what somebody is sitting back. The energy that they're trying to put on you. Nah. You know the thing yeah. that kind of gets me, you know, gets me upset about the misconception about voodoo. Um, people don't realize that there is good and that there is bad. Um, it is a is it a oh, some of it can be rituals or it's a religion. And you have like the mothers, like um, like my grandmother, my grandmother was a healer, she helped people. So when people would say that, at times I would get offended from it because not everybody's doing something bad. No, no, they healer, do I don't like healers are different to me yeah. from people who do voodoo. Or like I would say, obia. So I don't know which term you use, but obia, like bad stuff, like bad, not putting like something good on somebody. Yeah, like I'll say obia. Then. So there's some Africans that would say that you can't even come in my house and say the word juju because if you say that, they're related to you know you doing something bad and stuff. So right. You know, right. Yeah, no, but I mean I know like even the herbalists and stuff like that. I used to go there a lot and even take my son to get stuff for his asthma and stuff like that. So herbalists and People like that are people who are, you know, within spirit. Like, that's different from somebody who's just, like, putting shit and, you know, yeah. creepy stuff. Evil stuff. Yeah. Evil. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm just... You got a man over here like, crushing I mean, on you, Mr. Jones. I said, what? you got some man over here crushing Muja. on you. IJ Muja, 100% Puerto Rican. Hello, my Mr. Puerto Rican king. <laughs> That's Joba. Joba's, Joba. Joba's good people. Hi, Jobo. Oh, okay. Joba. 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 Hi, Joba. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Life is funny, man, but in my world, it was like, you don't go outside. I said, look, I feel great when I'm at home. Everything is in my house. I've made my, my home into my wonderland. I worked hard. I'm 33 years old and I'm retired. So therefore, I go outside, I go outside because I feel like it and because I have to go outside to do something for my children or if the things that I have to take care of. But outside of that, no, because is it paranoia? No. no, not paranoia. I just, I like being at home. I'm, I'm just comfortable in my, in my walls. I'm good with that. Yeah. You know, and right. some people feel like, oh, you got to do this and you have to do that to be happy. Some people are just happy within themselves. Some people are just happy with themselves and you just have to respect them for that. You know? Right. You know, I believe that. Some people spend a lot of money to build something and they can't even enjoy the fruits of their labors because they're so busy up and down, back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. there's nothing wrong with being at home and doing your thing. Me, personally, I've outgrown a lot of the shit that, you know, people doing right now. I don't care about no clubs and shit. I'm not like, I don't... Mm -mm. What's your question, sis? Yeah. What's your question, yeah. man, Pam? She gonna ask, is he single? <laughs> <laughs> uh, life is crazy. Yeah, we were, Nikki. Won't you come back in, Nikki? Did Nikki say she was going to sleep? She knew she wasn't going to sleep. I didn't, I didn't ever see her sick. I don't be checking on How long have y'all been on tonight? Too damn long. We've been on here from shit about four hours. <laughs> yeah, I got here. It was about eleven okay. something. It was actually it started with um oh boot time. I got you all right now. Mm -hmm. Um, 
we came in here it was myself first and then nikki came in random nikki came in and we was talking for a little bit i mean actually we didn't came on came back oh we listen we've been in here for a while but we well, called my YouTube, i saw youtube what? that's what pop that's why i came in oh yeah because i put youtube yeah because yeah, i didn't I really know YouTube, what to so put in there. why did you come to this lab this time with mr hutchinson and yes and yes, is Mr. Jones free? <laughs> that was gonna be her question. <laughs> well, Miss Hutchison, um, why did you come on? Like, like, okay, I saw you. What, what, what made him choose to come into this room is basically what she's saying. Or I, I don't even know how people find people. So, yeah, I came in only because I saw YouTube. That's what caught my attention. I ain't gonna lie, I came in because I saw y'all pictures on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> that was me too. <laughs> but see, I'm telling you, like when I come on blab and i'm scrolling through i never see like i must be looking at something different when i come on blab because i just be seeing like people live doing shit so and it's always like some marketing and crazy stuff and then like if it's some youtubers they'll click the link and i'll just click it from um twitter and i'll just come straight over so um yeah i don't know but one day uh -oh. um when i come on blab I look at the pictures, but I look at the topic. I just want to see what they're talking about. Majority of the times, if it's something about marketing or something, and then I look at the pictures, and for some reason, I can tell I'm like, okay, this might be boring because um, I've watched some people talk about marketing, and if I can't listen to you, I really don't care what you're saying. It's I'll, I'll try to get as much information that I could possibly get, but I don't want to hear that all the time. All day, this is what I see on Periscope. Everybody's talking about how to build your brand, how to market, how to get the free 99, how to do this. How, I mean, it's, and I, for me, I would like to see people just be themselves. Yes. You mm -hmm. know, I just, I, can I get to know you? And then when I get to know you and then you want to talk about business, I'm more prone to listen to you because I understand you. And I have some type of, I feel like, well, I know this person and this person is giving me some type of great information that today they're not literally bombarding me I did. Where it always feels like it's about money all the time. So I'm not going to listen to you. I'm not going to listen. Yeah. For somebody who comes on and they're just real and they come and they hang out like, hey, you know, I'm cooking tonight or, you know, I'm cleaning tonight or, you know, I'm just having a good whatever. And then you come on, you talk about business. I'll come in because I want to come in to support you just because you shared a little bit of you with me. You wanted me to get to know you. And because I've gotten to know you, now I can listen to whatever you're trying to sell to me. I will buy and I will support just off of, off the rip just because of that. Right. But I mean, I constantly tell people on YouTube a lot of times, like, you cannot sit up there and, like, a lot of people get into, like, no shade to them. But um, what's the grapevine? And then what's the other one? Um, fame bit. And I mean, yeah, okay, they're paying you some money or whatever. But at the same time, you're not giving an honest opinion because you got to put your stuff on private. They got to watch it, review it. If they tell you, take that out, don't say that. How is that an honest review? So I feel like to me, then you're not being real to your subscribers if you are being coached on what you're supposed to say about a product. If the shit is, I mean, you can be professional. You don't have to be like, this is some shit. But I just don't like the idea that somebody wants to try to tell me what to say. So even though I signed up with them, I'll never do anything with them because... You're not going to tell me what to say about your product. If it's some shit, I'm not going to be telling people to buy it. Regardless, I won't even review it. That, but and then I put them on blast. Then I'll let you know. I'm saying like, this this company contacted me and they wanted me to lie. They wanted to coach me on what I needed to say. So for any of you, if you are looking to purchase from this company, I do not endorse this company. And I don't believe that you should even buy their products just because of that, because it's not about if it's, it's not they put my integrity on the line. They don't care about me. So if they don't care about me and they want to use me to be a liar, they don't definitely don't care about you. So that means what kind of product are they going to send you? I don't know. And then you contact me and say, well, Juju, well, you know, because of the strength of you, because you said that this product is bomb or you said you like this company or you endorse this company. I went and purchased, and now either I didn't get my product or it's nothing that like what they sent you. Yeah, it's a lot. And, 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 and also, too, a lot of companies are very sneaky and they will send the best of yes. what they have to that YouTuber. So sometimes it's not the YouTuber. They'll be like, oh, yes, this is so. And then to get the 
business coming in and then they send out crap to the other people. So I'm oh, really yes. cautious about like, but, uh, you know. But think about the YouTubers who already know. They know what time it is, but they don't care. Oh, they, they don't think care. They just want to check. Because you've got people who are little. I have friends on who are on um Instagram. They're getting paid five Gs to post a picture. Oh, yeah, yeah. And all that shit that? and losing weight and you know damn well you've been that same size have from the get go. So many different of um like some affiliate programs where basically like they um I had one company who did what were they what were they called um they offered they said they was gonna start paying me at two hundred dollars and um basically like they linked me up with other other companies and basically they'll charge me they'll pay me start off the lowest I can go is two hundred dollars and I charge two hundred dollars and up. What? I have one that. They just want me to post pictures. Me, like, say, friends, like, you see how you have half of your face and your fa your hair would be straight? Right. And then I would post the other half and my hair would be kinky. Oh, And you're gotcha. putting it together. I pay get paid, I get paid $200 just for that, just to post that. Yeah, see. I'm, like, then, I mean, the there's so many ways to make money. But, see, something like that, that's nothing bad because that's something easy. Right. But when you reviewing something and people are going to spend their hard-earned money, like the same thing with my tribe. I have a tribe. I have a group on Facebook. And all the divas and, you know, the um, the um, the queens and queens who come in, um, there are people who will actually tag the glam tribe. And I've asked them not to do that due to the fact that people are going to buy because they see the the brand glam tribe attached to it, knowing that glam tribe is attached to the Shea Essentials. The Shea Essentials is, is tied to Jazzy Jujubee. So therefore, people automatically think, well, oh, Juju endorses it. I'm going to go and purchase it. And it's cool. So you have to be careful. So I said, don't do that, you know? Hello, Hello Mom. But here, I have a question that's going on in your life. Okay. Down with the swirl? Uh, no. <gasps> no, you were like definitive. No, mm -mm. I mean, like I um, like not I, at I, all. No, never. Don't come near me. Don't you? No, come I wouldn't near say don't. Come, no, no, I don't. I would never say don't come near me. But like, you talking about dating outside my race, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I've never like honestly to, to be honest, I'm not attracted to um people outside my race. It's nothing again. Like, I, let me tell you. If I was gonna do it, like John B, he could get it. He could do it. Okay. Um, well, the Robin the Sick, he could get it. But I've never like to me. I love a dark man. I just love like the blacker they are, the better. Like I don't care if they just the, the street black. I well, love like Wesley that. Snipes. Like blue Wesley blue. Snipes, yes. Baby. So for me, it's not that I'm saying that I, I just, I've never had. And I actually, I don't date Americans also. What do you date? Nigerians? I had before, but I had to stop because they're a little bit crazy. They're a little bit crazy. Nigerians are crazy as fuck. They're crazy and they're kind of bad in bed as well. I mean, I hate to say that, but I mean, I'm not like, no. really put it down. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, oh my God. There's a lot of Nigerians <laughs> in Japan. Oh, I could believe that. A lot. I've only come across like wow. Two or three. You know, I don't know. I yeah, you know, I, I mean no harm. I hope I don't offend nobody here, no, but I don't no, really of course not. Yeah, I mean I have dated I I usually I always date like Caribbean or or something. I don't really date American men because no shade to them I had before, but I prefer a island man. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, island men are very like um I, I want to say domineering, but I don't want to say it in like a negative way. They can be like my first husband Maybe. was. Yeah, my ex-husband was like that, but at the same time with well, my personality like it doesn't work. It doesn't work, and that's probably why we clashed all the time, but um, but I've never, I've never ever like date. I've never even been on a date with a white guy. I've never even been on a date with, uh, I did date one guy that was from Panama, but he was like a black, you know what I'm saying? Black Panamanian type of thing. He looked black. Black, but... white, yellow. I, yeah, I, mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not listening.
listen, I don't have nothing against it. Like I said, John B, if he knocked on my door right now, I just tell my husband, hold tight. <laughs> I got to do something in the living room real quick, okay? Are you he always knows when it comes to certain people that, yeah, Robin you know, Thicke. yeah, Robin Thicke, I'm sorry, yeah, he could get it. John B, back in the day, the fact John B, said John B it. is like a whole nother thing. Well, I mean, I don't know about the John B now, but the Nigerians are crazy. They sure are. I, I, I'm, I'm. They are. They. I, let me tell you, this one. What's he? He was from Ivory Coast, and um, this back in the day. You know, this ain't nothing new. I'm married. This is back in the day, and uh, we was just dating a little bit or whatever. This nigga showed up at my fucking door at like two o'clock in the morning with some flip flops on, dress pants, and a t-shirt. Two in the morning. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I can't. Yeah, they crazy. I can't do it. Uh uh. Mm -mm. And they, they, I mean, wedding. come on. <laughs> yeah, it's. Mm. Mm -mm. That's wedding attire. Love you need a spot to speak? And it's I can't. Um, I'm going to leave so they can come in. I'll still be here. I'll come back when they get off. Okay, so hold on. I can't see who. Okay, so we got the floor open for the next person that. To come in, so we're waiting on you. We need a little boy in here so we can like. They said they are crazy. <laughs> okay. Oh Lord, he he said he gonna balance us out. <laughs> oh, balance. You gonna balance us out? Oh, you ain't been a balance yet. Shut up. Uh, first of all, <laughs> we I'm all brown. Nigeria, I wanna speak. Oh shit! Hold up, are you African? I'm from Nigeria. He's from fucking oh, Nigeria. He's in Japan, motherfucker. He's in Japan. I'm sorry. I was, listen. I, I, I heard what you guys said. So I can said, I defend myself real quick, please? He's from Can I defend myself? I just met your ass last week, Can I defend myself real quick, please? All right. Oh my god. Please let me defend myself okay, first. Okay, let me defend okay, myself. Okay, go ahead. Let me defend myself. <laughs> okay. Let me defend myself. Because I don't want nobody to get it twisted. Okay, check this out. This is real talk. Clock in my own team. Anybody can check the receipts. I have three kids, right? Okay. Three kids. Two, same father, Jamaican. One, African. So, with that being said, even though I said I don't mess with Nigerians or whatever, I have a child, DNA, straight from Africa, okay? But I'm just saying, from they're a little Nigeria, crazy. Not from Africa, where? Huh? He's from Kenya. My, my, my hand. Okay. Yeah, Kenya. And he's, mm, I mean, I'm, I ain't going to go there. But, Nigeria is not the same. But well, it's not the same, but you know what I'm saying, like. I know Nigeria and, and Kenya is not the same place, but I'm saying African men in general. No. But I love Nolly, I love Nollywood. I, I, I love Nollywood. Yeah, yeah there he's not. Uh, he's not African. He's Kenyan. Oh my Nigerian. God. Okay, go ahead. We're listening. I'm sorry. Tell us about Nigerians. Let me tell you guys about Nigerian guys. Okay. Okay. Let me hear. Oh, up. What are you doing? Nigerian guys are the best of all African race compared to other races. Yeah. They are? Yeah, they are some bad like this, They are some bad Nigerian guys, no doubt, but majority. So what's so good about them? They know how to pamper them. Japanese women. They know how to pamper? Yeah, they take care they of them. They do pamper. They do, they do pamper. They, they do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my yeah. goodness. They take, look, let me tell you. I, don't know. I, live, I live in Nigeria, but I'm in the U.S. right now, okay? Everyone Where you at? Where you at? What? Where you at? Detroit? I mean, not... No, I mean, I didn't. <laughs> you went to Detroit? You went to Detroit, but I saw you last week. <laughs> you said... <laughs> oh, my side Let hurt. me tell you why a lot of uh, people complain about Nigerian guys, yeah? Why is that? Why? First of all, Nigerian guys are very jealous, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's true. And why they are very jealous is because it's just like in everything you do. When you spend too much time and energy into something, you become obsessed with that thing. So mm. they are spending too much time and too much money on their girlfriend. It becomes a project to them. They start to, mm. you know, it becomes an obsession. So that's how it is. They want to control. People that know how to handle them. They right. Have people that know how to handle Nigerian guys, they don't have problems. 
The same way well, some guys that know how to handle black women. I didn't catch where you were from. Where you at? Kentucky? I'm in Atlanta right now. I'm in ATL. Oh, I'm going to oh. move to Georgia. Oh, well. Me too. I'm coming to Georgia too, sister. Well, guess what? The next bus was to Atlanta. Six uh, Africans, four are Nigerians. Oh, Jesus, I'm going to stay far away from you. So now a lot of girls come to Atlanta here because they want to meet Nigerian guys. Why? Are you serious? Nigerian guys. They're all over the place. Why do they have to come to Atlanta? Nigerians. Because there are more Nigerian guys here than in any You're state. You're dangerous. Why do they go to Nigeria? Why do they go? I'm saying, why do they go to Atlanta? Why do most Nigerian men go to Atlanta? Because it's cheap property value. No. But let, let me ask you this, and this is a serious question, because I've been told this. I don't know if it's true or not. Yeah. But I have heard a lot of people say that, like, African men, they will date, like, American women a lot, but they won't marry them because... Like their family would prefer they have a woman from like back yeah, home. Is that true? For you, true. Guys, they would prefer to marry to uh, an but African, mm -hmm. yeah. But right. well, yeah, you know, like things are true. changing now. Yeah, things are changing. Are changing now, so there are lots of adaptation going on. Things true. change. But some have white here and have white in Nigeria. Also. Oh yeah, we we know that. Yeah, we know we know well. We know about that. Okay. Yeah. Now, let me ask you, the whole family. In as much as the, a lot of American ladies. Are you married, Kimon? I see a lot of them that are married to African men, and they are happy. And they see, when I go to the mall, every time they see me, they're like, hi, oh, God, are you married, blah, blah, blah. Nigerian guys are mean, but some are nice, just like every other. I've never, I've never dated an African man that has been mean. They've all been very nice. Exactly. And, and tell your friends. Tell, tell yes. <laughs> but I can tell you. I can tell you. I can tell you where they lack if y'all want to hear it. I don't know. Please tell I, them the good part first. Leave the lacking part. Okay. I'll tell you the good, and I'll go down the line. <laughs> <There is. laughs> this is this is blab. Okay. So the good parts are that they are very pampering. Thank you. God bless you. Okay. Thank you. They, listen, they are very pampering. Get and... my weave done, boy. <laughs> yeah, they would do. Uh, they would do all of that. Um, they are like, I've never had an African man that has ever disrespect me or like try to. Tell them, tell Juju B, are you listening? Juju, Juju B, listen but, very well. Tell but. Them. but Tell them. I want me a rude boy. <laughs> but it's something about the way they rotate their hips. Just, just don't really be all like that, like that. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes every right now and again. Um, <laughs> now the top part of the area, they, they got that mastered. But the other part of the area, not all of them. So, I mean, I don't top know. Right. I mean, top part right here. Yeah, like in this area, they know, you know what I'm saying? Like, they know what to do up here, but I mean. What? You said what with the hips? They were the hips. Okay, oh. guys. Right. Yeah, so, so in the like, so, side boy. Yeah, now I had, I had, never mind, shoot, I must have oh, a couple, never mind. I need I that's the story coming oh. But, um. Oh oh. Let me put oh. my earpiece on. I'm going to get my Rihanna on. <laughs> But now this is another this this is another question that I gotta ask because now I heard some of the women they get the surgery done to their little area down there so that they can't really have an orgasm. Am I being too graphic? Wait, 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 what were you saying? Please say it again. Say it okay, again. Let me, let me just let me no, just make sure okay. I ask my um Hold on. Okay, let me ask my people over yeah. here that's listening. Am I being too graphic for y'all? Because I don't want to gross y'all out over there. What are y'all talking fine. about? I'm let talking me about it. it is fine. Okay. Let me explain to them what you just said. Because I'm about to get mad. What you mean? About the female um circumcision? My little flower is about to get upset about that. No, no. Oh, God. Yeah. This is crazy. Why would you have a surgery? So you it's not surgery. It's called circumcision. They've stopped it anyway. It's been a bad Oh, they don't do it anymore with the women? No, it's been stopped. It's been stopped. It, was it wasn't because of apartheid, no, actually. The truth is, when that a girl is circumcised, my is it Maquita? Maquita, when a girl is circumcised. Close enough. It's, it's fine how you she say it. She becomes less to addicted to sex. Right, but why would you want that? Why because a lot of girls that? don't go to school. They just... Let me explain to you. I don't support this circumcision shit, but I'm just telling you how it's done and why they do it. It's okay, okay. Listen. 
Okay. So in the old life. days, girls don't go to school. As soon as they're like 14, 15, they start having sex, they stop school, they get married, you know? So parents were like... Wait, oh, on yeah. purpose? No, because when they start having sex, the thing gets to their head, it's crazy, and then they stop going to school. So now, they now said, okay, fine, let's try and circumcise these girls and put them out of sex for you. A lot of girls today in Africa can't even get married because they don't even like having sex. It's boring to them. And a lot of their relationship crash because of that. You know, like serious girls, it's not their fault. Like, you wouldn't know when it's done. Mm -hmm. But now, a lot of uh, awareness and stuff, it's been abolished. It's no longer done. Personally, I have to tell you, in Nigeria, guys don't even like girls that are circumcised. Let me let me tell y'all something. I worked with this girl that was African. This was back in the day. And she had that whole thing done. Her mother made her get it done when she was 12 or something. It's crazy, but that's and she had three kids by her husband. And like her and her husband was having problems because when they would have sex, she couldn't have an orgasm. Exactly. And then so if she want to like get freaky deaky or whatever. Her husband, she said her husband would slap her and tell her to stop being so freaky. Now, listen, listen, now let me tell you what I've been told, okay? Because the streets be talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do got that tea, it seemed like. <laughs> Are you talking about Rihanna and Chris Brown? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, oh, my. But from what I heard, <laughs> Okay, from what I've been told, okay, mm -hmm. by my uh, African friends, males, that they like it when American women get freaky, but they don't yeah. like it when African women it's get freaky. It's not as if they don't like it. It's just that they're not used to it. Let's be frank. They okay, African are not used to black it. or African white? African black ladies have, they are not circumcised, so they have this big thing going on. <laughs> so a lot of guys <laughs> like... <laughs> Yeah, it's big. I don't know how that's a big thing. <laughs> yeah, because it's big. It's not cut off. It's swollen. Hey, I don't Look. have a big thing. It's not swollen at all. Wait, my quick. Oh, God. I don't think so. <laughs> What's what? going on down here? Oh, my son is killing me. I don't think it's big and swollen. It's that not. It's a little uncomfortable. When I say big thing, I don't mean I say big thing. I mean it's a big deal. My point is they don't have it in Africa. <laughs> So when they see it here, they freak out, and you know that's how it is. Not, but nowadays, but how it's been, little is it when you're circumcised? What they do is that they cut it off, and then they use something like hot water and like uh, a, a towel, and then they use it to press it. It goes so small; it's crazy. Yeah, you I know, felt bad for the girl I was working with because she was with her husband. Sad. Even I've met a lot of girls that will say they've never come in their life. I'm like, girl, you never had an orgasm before? And she said no because she didn't have a um. They removed the thing, and her husband, I don't they know. She said that's how she wanted to do some extra. Her husband would get mad about it. But I think some American ladies too. Did you say she know. never? Came yeah, because she had her thing that helps you to get where you need need to be removed. Because it's like a part of, you know, no permit. No. It's crazy, but you guys are lucky. Like, when I go back to Nigeria and I tell Nigerian girls that, look, American girls don't even know the advantage of having been uncircumcised. They don't get it. You people don't know how lucky you are. So you guys think it's normal. Back in Nigeria, a lot of girls have never, ever come in their life. They don't Listen, even know what I'm going in. to adopt. Some Nigerian you know, so... girl, not for like sex or nothing like that, but just <laughs> so they can like, normal, like enjoy life. I'm gonna they've never, they don't even know what come means. They think sex is all about a guy coming. That's the orientation, Aww. right? Because the man is supposed to be there they're for like satisfaction. That's what the man told me. I don't know. He said he said he don't truth. like what his African wife. But is now, doing. because they stopped it like 20 years ago, so you are seeing a lot of young girls now that have. Kids that are even bigger than some guys did, so it's crazy now. Ew. What? Now it's crazy because you know in, like, be in Africa that. when they stop that something. Sound right. <laughs> now you see a girl that it's has a cleat as big as something like this. <laughs> stop. She need to go have surgery then. She ain't no. She might be. She might be both sexes or something. <laughs> you know. Oh, come on. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. That's not normal. I'm sorry. It's the size of a dime. You know, so, but that's how it is. But apart from that, the issue about uh, how bad Nigerian guys are, 
it's no, they're not bad. I sh- I don't I don't mean bad, but like I won't date them because one they're too possessive. <laughs> Wow. Yes, I've told you why already. I just explained to you. When a guy is spending too much time, money, and energy on a girl. <laughs> I need it. Right, me too, Nikki. I know a couple girls like that, and they said that their mo- like the one girl, her father was trying to prevent her from getting it done, and her mother made her go back home. Yeah, it's mostly the women that maybe most parents don't allow them to do it. It's the mothers I'm going to adopt Two Nigerian girls, and they're going to be sexually liberated. No, well, I don't know, but now they stopped it because in the old days it was, it was like very. What is the old days? Nineteen seventy-eight. It wasn't that long. It wasn't that long because in nineteen, hold on, let me get my facts together. It It was was stopped in nineteen ninety. It was two thousand. Who made this rule that this is okay? It wasn't a a traditional thing. It's just a tradition. It's like an African tradition. Guys, okay, what about guys' circumcision? That's like Chinese. Okay. Y'all, I'll let somebody else answer, and I'll tell you what I think about the male circumcision. But y'all can go ahead. I'm going to give y'all the floor for a while. I don't want y'all to think I'm the Let Juju speak. Juju B. (laughs) Juju. Juju B. Save the clip. Why is Juju B not talking? Juju B, tell us. Juju <laughs> B, how do you feel about your clitoris? No, she, he wants to know about males. What do you think about men who are circumcised? Well, I've met some girls here in America. They I, said they. I they pers- okay, go on, Juju. For me personally, I wouldn't deal with a man who's not circumcised. Very good. I've met a lot of. Uh, I'm, uh, okay, I'm, 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 I'm not circumcised. Ladies. Oh, no, nah, honey. Poor boy. I They're met an American so lady that told me that she serious? met this white guy. My son is the best. Really? Nah. Okay, let me tell y'all this. Oh, my God. I'm getting so much That's fucking trouble for this shit right here. That what I'm about to say. Lord, I'm going to get in trouble. Lord, you I'm going to get in trouble. European motherfucker. Listen, your dick was not meant to be not covered in skin. Ah, ah, God. Listen. Don't cover your dick and skin. <laughs> it was not meant to be covered in skin. The Lord did not put that, not oh put that God. skin oh. on your thing. Whatever. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me get my confidential shit together. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Uh, you you shut up. What you talking about? Please, uh, Zuri, say something. You are going to tell us something. <laughs> Go ahead, Juju. Oh, you told me to be quiet. You told me to shut up, to not say nothing? Who told her to shut up? Ooh, ooh. Okay, it's not going to be bad. <laughs> no, I What did I say? I'm, <laughs> man, I don't know anything about uncircumcised dick. I don't know. Listen. I've never even <laughs> seen it. I can't stop laughing. My stomach like crazy. I've never seen an uncircumcised dick. So I don't know see. how it is for me. I don't even want to see. You are not. Of course. Right. Listen, I have I have had both. Yeah. Right. Mm. I would prefer one that's circumcised. God bless you. God bless Let me tell you why. Okay. God bless you. I just think for. I mean, it just looks better. Thank you. Oh, but in the dark. Thank you. God bless you. Been in all day like this or whatever, but I'm just saying it looks better. But at the same time, but has Juju be seen a dick uncircumcised? Has she seen? <laughs> how did we get here? How did we get here, guys? I don't know how we got here. Please, Juju, answer. please allow Juju to say something. Really I think she has something to say. Saying. Juju, please. Uncircumcised. Juju, B, please say why something. Why are you pulling? Why are you trying to? Oh, I can feel that you want to say something. I can feel it. <laughs> Juju, please. Juju, please. Oh, her penis. <laughs> Listen, um, I don't, have, I don't discriminate or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god! My, 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 who, I mean, is, who is Robert? I, Robert said I something. Did. He said she's getting Brandon, all hot thinking know, about a cock. Who is jo- Who is Robert? <laughs> <laughs> who is this guy? <laughs> who not talking about getting hot? Who they talking about? I don't know for this guy. I never know who is. Where is the guy? Where is he from? I can't even see his picture. Who is this guy? They say she get all hot, but who the 
hell are they talking about? Who getting hot? This is actually not even pop talk, for instance. Yeah, this ain't no hot. This is this is PG thirteen. You know what? Uh, oh, no, this PG thirteen. Let Juju be say something so that we can wrap up this cock talk thing. Let let Juju be <laughs> say. Talk? Did he say? Yeah, I saw it. Someone wrote it down here. Cock talk. Only in Nigeria. Not no, no, me. Look at someone wrote it there. Oh, man, Pam. <laughs> Go ahead, Juju. Okay, yeah. Juju, please. The floor is yours, please. Take it. So Take the mic. I, I have, I have experienced both. Mm -hmm. Um, for depending on the kind of woman that you are, if you're having relations with your significant other, I feel some type of way when I hear like, "Oh, a man look at me like." Why are you doing that? No, I am going to clean you. I have to ensure that you are all the way clean. Now, that's more work to having to deal with someone who exactly. is not certified. Uh, what? Yes, she's right. I, think, I mean, when I'm confused, yeah. confused, who has to clean who? Oh, well, I'm cleaning them. Yeah, you have to I'm clean the guy if it's not clean, that is. But let's be frank. Uh, GGB, which one do you prefer? I'm not doing none of my talk because they're going to be calling me a freak over there on YouTube. Juju I'm not B. saying like, for that you, I you, you, like with your mouth. So, yes, Juju B, which yes. one do you prefer? Let's wrap up this cock talk thing. I, I prefer circumcised. Okay, so. good. Uh, <laughs> Juju. Boo. My quick, oh, All the way. I don't understand how come this uh, there's someone that prefers uncircumcised dick. Really? Okay. Because okay. my quick, she loves her husband. I'm going to tell you why. I've had both as well. But the okay. uncircumcised penis is almost <laughs> like... Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't you... Oh, my God, me. This is going to break the internet, sir. <laughs> <laughs>
So we wait outside. They were like, well, y'all like to wait outside to get a drink? I'm, just, I'm like, okay. I order Incredible Hulk, right? You know, I got the Hennessy oh. in it, the apps, all of that. You know, the drink. Right. If you're going to get you a drink, you need one that's going to get you right. 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 <laughs> Tell me why I ordered that drink. And when the man brought my glass, I leaned back and said, that's not my drink, is it? He said, yes, it is. I said, no, it's not. It was literally like in a shot glass. And that motherfucker was $19 at Justin's, the, the restaurant that Puffy had. Me, and this was back in like 2003. Me and my friend was like, girl, after this drink, we eat. <laughs> uh-uh, I'm not staying. Imagine what, because the, the menu had no prices on it or anything. Wow. And so only like high-end celebrity type of people, they come in there. But yeah, so Puffy has taken care of him, you know, from day one. But that's not his biological um son. Look away. Listen. Listen. Thank you. Got me up to 600. I'm sorry. Y'all keep I'm going. Somebody hearted me. Oh, I, I didn't get one more than you, Miss Miss Hutchinson. Listen. I just want to just take a pause. Take a pause for the call. Because you, you like, where are you from? Uh, Shaquita? Shaquita Me? or Shaquita? Shaquita. 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 What you the way, girl? You want to know from? where? Maryland. Where you Maryland. live? No, where you live. Where I live? I live in Maryland. 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 <laughs> Do you? Yeah, do you live here? I do know all this. Because you know a lot of stuff. I used to live in Maryland, too. Really? What part you live in? What part you live in? I used to live in Fort Meade. <laughs> oh, you was over here by the Navy base, girl. Yeah. Yes. Okay, All because guess Navy what? Base. For real? Because, listen, let me tell you. See, I'm going to tell you how I know my stuff. Cause see, listen. I know they're not there no more. Before me, they used to have Jasper's girl across the street. Oh. And it will be Tuesdays. And Jasper's had the bomb buffalo wings. Yes, girl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But they went out of business. I heard something happened, girl. I'll be hearing all kinds of shit. But see, I'll be on YouTube. It's so it's my business like food poison to know what's happening. Ramping. Yeah, they used to say open to like two in the morning and stuff. But something happened. They end up going out of business. But yeah, for me, yes. Laurel, I yes. The corner from oh, here. Laurel. Yeah, was the bomb. Yeah, my son, my oldest son, still lives in Laurel now, and I lived in District Heights. I lived all in that area, Blakensburg, and then, girl, you know how it is when the police keep showing up every day. But the what? crime scene team just want to move. So I lived I mean, over there right before the, the the mall, right across from the Laurel Mall. And child, I'm gonna tell you, the worst hospital in the world is Laurel Hospital. They almost killed my ass. I Don't go to Laurel. Go to Johns Hopkins. It's horrible, huh? Go to Johns Hopkins. Well, I'm not there now, but I'm telling you, it was just it was by the God that let me live through the hospital visit. Through I could Laurel. be going crazy, but isn't Laurel a uh, hospital closing, or one of them hospitals yeah. is closing, and they're no, only doing no, she... outpatient um surgeries or procedures or something like that that's what they're that's what they're doing now i think because i had one of my um surgeries at the outpatient mm -hmm. whatever it was the in and out thing down there yeah when i was still in that because my youngest son when i had him i had him at pg hospital and that was the worst they had blood and shit on the walls and stuff it was what wow. the fuck what what the fuck? Like somebody did. It was it was real dirty. Like blood they had me in the room walls, before they like take. Yeah, they had blood and shit on the walls before they took me in the room to. What? You know. I'm yeah. Dead. We gonna sue. We gonna join sue. <laughs> Cause I feel that shit. Yeah. Okay, but listen. Okay, so you're at Maryland. Like, but but what? How do you know all this stuff with like the New York stuff? Like all that. What New York stuff? Well, what, like what Puffy and all them, and like, what's all that, girl? What? Cause I travel, what? and it's my job. That's what I do on YouTube. That's what we oh, do. What do you do? I don't know. What do you do? Is that my slippers? Okay. Ugh. you can't hear us, Nikki. Hold on, let me I'm move. Up this in the Sorry about that, girl. It's like Blair Witch Project, only black folk. Where you going, girl? I guess. Girl, I came downstairs. I'm trying to come find me some rice cakes. Oh, I love rice. The you got some white cheddar, white. I, I have white cheddar. I think my children ate all. I think my children ate all of my white cheddar ones. So. 
Those are the best ones. Jazzy, what kind of hair you have in your hair right now? Like, don't make any other ones. Oh, my turn one. This is a wig that this company, one of my favorite companies, sent me maybe about four years ago to review. Oh, lot four years shit. That's that's yeah. good. Four years, yeah. This wig. The one is like that's on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God damn. It's a full what? lace wig. You see that? It's four years old. Four years old. Listen. Yeah, for real, cool. real talk. We're four brown girls. This is my first sewing wig. Oh, you did a good job. Oh, yeah, that's good. Is that, the, is that the first lady? Is that called first lady? I don't know. I, I thought that was your hair. hair. I thought it was her hair too. To be honest, you the, did. The reason why I asked was it first lady because I don't know Jazzy. I don't know if you know that brand, but the first lady. Their hair is like, it's almost like a natural a nappy texture. black person hair if you just put in a relaxer. Yeah. So that's what your hair looks like. It doesn't look mm -hmm. like a weave at all. So that's why I thought it was your hair. And see yeah. how you did all of that? Yeah, that looks like your hair. That looks like your hair, yes. Child, I'm so fucking jealous. That yeah, that's like your hair. Listen, like but here's the thing. Did she whip her hair back? Okay, and here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing though i live in japan and it is really hard wait let me fix my show let me let me fix my first lady yeah, I, looks, oh, I like messy hair leave it like that yeah it looks cute i swear that's first lady though because the way that hair moves it, lo it looks like her mm -hmm. so i'm thinking it's first lady it looks like first lady i don't know listen there's just not a lot of people in Japan that can do black hair. And mm -hmm. I don't like I don't like long hair. You in the military? Like, hmm? You in the military? My husband's in the military. Oh wow. What, what part of um Japan are y'all stationed at? Wait <laughs> now I'm just fucking around. <laughs> um uh we're in Yokosuka. Yokosuka, I figured. About a, about an hour outside of Tokyo. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. And so people. what Honey. Oh, God, listen. Um, whatever you do, listen. Hey, boo. Okay, you know how whenever you're in the States and, like, you just don't feel like a part. Well, I'm not going to speak for everybody, but when I'm in the States, I'm obviously from the United States. Right. When you're there, you don't feel like you're a part of humanity, almost. Mm -hmm. Like, when you're here, when you're in Japan, it's Japan. Japanese people in general just have this very big, large respect for human nature. So when right. you're in Japan and you're an African American, you don't even feel like you're a color. It's just oh, wow. they treat you with the utmost of respect and they help yeah. you and they just celebrate you. And it's just, it's because you're humankind. It's not because you're a certain color. Exactly. Right. And, you know, that's why we've been here for so that's why we'll, you know, stay, you know, for as long as we want to stay. It's just, it's a really beautiful place. And if you ever want to come here, just tell me. You can stay in my extra room. So you know, you can't tell me no stuff like that because y'all know how, you know, I told y'all my name should be random something because you know me. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> y'all be seeing me on uh, YouTube. Hey, I'm down here at BWI at the airport. But, um, Seriously, I'm going to tell you this, and this is for real. Like, I lived in Jamaica for quite some time. I, I, I told you, I just, do, I just do stuff to do it. And so I packed up my stuff. I got some shipping barrels, put all my stuff in there, packed up my uh, suitcase, and rolled out. <laughs> I didn't really tell anybody that I was leaving. I told a handful of people. I didn't want nobody to tell me not to do it. And um, Do it. So like, I said, whatever people, whatever you think people think you shouldn't do, that's what you should do. Huh. Yes, let me tell you something. Huh. When I tell you that I loved it in Jamaica, and the only reason, the only reason why I came back is because they don't really have the opportunities that we have here. Now, with that said, had YouTube been around at that time, yeah, my black ass would still be over there. Y'all would get <laughs> sick of seeing me, okay? Because I would be on YouTube 24-7 trying to get them checks coming in, okay? Because that's U.S. <laughs> money turned over to that Jamaican currency. Mm -hmm. And one thing a lot of people are like, 
Oh, Jamaica is not a safe place to be. I have been in all parts of Jamaica. The, the if you want to call them ghettos, the slums. Mm -hmm. and fear is what people. Fear, it's like with dogs; they smell fear. If you walk like mm -hmm. you smell exactly. fear, you good. And I I go back to Jamaica at least twice a year, every year, just to keep my mind stable. Because sometimes being in America, you can lose. Like, I wouldn't say touch with reality, but kind of like with everything. With no, yes, yes. Everything. Yes. I cannot stay here 365 days a year. I can't do it. I have to, like right now, with, with all of this and everything, I need to just get on a plane and just go. Because sometimes you get so caught up in all of this shit. And when you're in there, nobody's competing with anybody. Nobody's worried about who got on their old shoes from, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody yep. cares about that shit. You can live in a shack. And these women yep. take care of their shacks. They out there with the little broom, cleaning, yep. and all that. You realize that like happiness is not about material not? stuff, huh? Well, I can't see you or Juju B. What's going on? I don't know, but I wanted to ask you how did you put everybody. everybody. <clears throat> I see everybody. I, I see everybody. Put yourself like that because I want to do that. You just did yours as audio only. And now you came back, we can see you. What did you push? No, no. What happens is when your internet connection is bad, okay. it'll put you as audio only. You don't have a choice. Oh, okay. You okay. have enough power to show your face. Um, with okay. Skype, you can do that. With Skype, you can switch back and forth to be... You You probably can do that with this, but I haven't really fooled around with it That's enough to, like, no. I, um, I really haven't you. fooled around with it enough to know, but honestly, for anybody who's never traveled, I always encourage to get use your passport, take advantage of your uh your privilege of being an American citizen and travel. It's nothing. For my, for my passport in the mail, so I go get the the photo and all that. Yeah. I, well, I yes. just, <laughs> and, and wait for my hmm? Oh, you at the appointment? They'll take the picture for you at the uh, passport place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. doing it at the United we'll States Post Office. office. Anywhere. Yeah, post up, yeah. Mm -hmm. I make sure I keep my books up, yes. You on your first book or you go you got a big book? I'm on my second book. Oh your second book. Yes. I'm on my yes. second book, but I don't say because the first one so I'm not gonna really say that it got full, but what happened is I got married some time back. And um I didn't initially at first change my last name because I just was like, you know, you kind of get used to your last name, even if whatever it doesn't mean shit to me, my father's nothing, whatever. Yeah, my but it was important for my husband for me to have his last name. Mm -hmm. So I gave him a Christmas gift <laughs> a couple months later after we had got married. And then you know what? It's the best decision I ever made. Like, even if whatever happened. Which I don't ever see that happening. But even if he died today or tomorrow, I'm still keeping his last name, and I'll never get another husband. Well, I, I want my what? first husband so I can get divorced like everybody else being. 